Hey everyone, welcome to another Viper video uh, in our Viper Beginners Course series. And you know, we are almost towards the end of the beginning course series, and I wanted to finish on a very powerful note. Now, to be honest with you, this isn't really a beginner's note. This is also something that we are constantly reminding our advanced mentor mentees and, and students as well. So, you know, hopefully they won't mind us sharing, you know, what we give to them because this is something that we think is just powerful overall and necessary for us to share. Because at the end of the day, what we're here to do is just to provide value. We, our mission, as we said from the very first video, our mission is to be different. Our mission is to be real in this industry full of fakes and full of scammers and full of just people who have no care for others. We are the opposite. We have care for others. Our big you know, sort of vision is our legacy of what you know, mark that we leave behind. And that is why it's my pleasure, and this probably will be my favorite lesson to deliver, is all on psychology. In the markets, you know, the markets almost is 80, 90% based on psychology when it comes to your profitability. Once you, anyone can learn how to understand the fundamentals. Anyone can research that information and understand how that impacts the financial markets. Anyone can learn about technicals you know, different strategies, piecing it all together, you know, beginning to make a trading plan. Anyone can do that. That's the truth. Anyone can spend time, if some may learn and be able to pick up, pick that stuff up a bit faster than others, and some may take a bit of time, but anybody, I could teach my daughter, for example, to, to read charts and to understand what fundamentals mean and how they could impact the market. However, the true essence of a trader, when you hear people talk about man on an island, you know, and that's normally, they're normally saying this because they want to, it's a scapegoat that a lot of these mentees and mentors and, and gurus, if you will, and course educators of trading, try and use as a scapegoat to teaching you and to actually giving you value and trying to help you succeed. However, the one thing I can say where there's truth in this statement is in the fact that when it comes to your profitability in the market, it is on you. Now, you may be thinking, Riz, that's a bit annoying to hear, right? I want to be able to go to a mentor and be able to get that, which is true, right? I'm completely with you. However, what I'm getting at is the fact of psychology having that impact, only you know what's going on in here. And only you can have the power and control to be able to rewire those thought processes. Because when it comes to psychology, you'll hear the usual things about patience, greed, um, you know, fear of loss, you know, and you know, a lack, of, you know, maybe even lack of patience. However, what it all boils down to is discipline. Discipline is the answer to your problems. If you are facing issues in the markets, if you've been trading a few years, our whole purpose coming into this, myself and Callum and creating the Viper Group was spe specifically really for those who had been trading a good few years potentially and have had uh, a tough time. You know, lost maybe tens of thousands into the market and yet lost tens of thousands to you know, bad educators and, and scammers as well. Because we wanted to give them a chance to make a change and to see the, the success that they can have in the markets, to give them the freedom that they're after. When I've spoken to thousands of students worldwide and when I've spoken to them, uh, not students, sorry, just traders worldwide, and each one wants freedom. Each one wants consistency. Okay. Now our job is to be disciplined because when we are disciplined and, they, and, and discipline is the answer to each one of the usual psychological problems that people face, such as a lack of patience is also a lack of discipline, such as greed is a lack of discipline, such as, um, you know, fear of loss is a lack of discipline. Okay. And it's so powerful. I cannot stress enough how powerful how powerful discipline is. Okay, now you're probably thinking, Riz, how can I how can I be more disciplined? How can I be a disciplined trader? Now the truth is, yes, there are things that can help. And this is why you would have seen myself and Callum create as part of our Viper group the Viper Challenge. Where we as a community have decided all together to help each other build stronger discipline. And it's actually outside of the charts. Because in essence, discipline is a muscle. Just like really with anything, when building habits, you need to repeat it. It's something that you will maybe struggle to build a habit 
But when you repeat that process over and over, you're building that habit you know, stronger and stronger as, until it becomes a routine. And it's similar with discipline. You need to build your, your muscle, if you will, of discipline until it's a routine, until it's strong. And there is no, nothing that can really impact it, right? Because the mind is a very powerful thing. The mind itself can either be a powerful master to you, right, where you're its slave, or you can be the powerful master of your mind where it's your slave. So let me break that down into the discipline side. So when it comes to improving your discipline, you can do things, anything, any sort of mundane task that it requires you a bit to put in work or a bit of strain that, or maybe a bit of struggle that's normally not in your routine, such as maybe you're reading every day or being on a diet, for example, or trying to exercise, right? These things that you know maybe you don't normally do, but they're things that can help you to be more disciplined, or even choosing something like to do yoga, or to meditate, or to spend more time with the family, or to put your phone down, or anything that may be against what you usually do, but will help you to progress and give you some form of result, is helping you to build your discipline, such as the Viper Challenge. Allowing everyone in our community to build as a group, to, to some form of daily exercise, to start building discipline. Every day, no matter what, no matter how hard, no matter what their routine is, no matter what you know comes up, we get that workout in because we're building that discipline and we're holding each other accountable. And it's a powerful, powerful tool. However, the end result is though, if you can choose to be disciplined on a workout, if you can choose to be disciplined on reading a book, the, tru the truth is in trading, it's the same, it's a choice. And that's where the man on the island comes in. You need to choose just as I did in my journey. I had to choose. I got to the, the darkest point, and it's a quote from the film. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people normally sort of snigger or laugh when I say this, but it's a quote from Batman, The Dark Knight, where Harvey Dent, he says, the night is darkest before the dawn. And I love that quote. It's one of my favorite quotes, and I've, I say it to my uh, mentees quite often because I'm trying to remind them that there will be struggle. You know, no one should expect to get into trading without struggle. Okay, if you are, you, you have a warped perception and you've probably been led astray by these gurus, by these educators who are, who are portraying a get rich quick scheme, an easy route to success. There is no such thing. And we're not here to shy away from it. As I said earlier, we are here to be real, to be genuine, but also to help give you value and freedom because we know it's possible not only for us, but for many of our students already and the many more students to come. And even for every single person watching this video, who decides to take action and make that choice. Because what is the difference between you choosing to read the book and choosing to be disciplined in the trading? And even when you're going through the darkest times, trusting and having that self-belief that you're trading, you know, and through going through those dark times, you're gonna learn the lessons necessary to choose to be disciplined. You know, sometimes you have to get to the crossroad. Like I did, I had to get to the crossroad of, do I quit or do I decide to make change for once? And actually stick to that change and luckily as a, otherwise I wouldn't be sat here I decided to make the change okay and many of my students have I've had to put them in that ultimatum stage where I've said choose to make the change or to keep going repeating the same lesson until it's learned right and the truth is wouldn't you rather have it that way so when, when we talk about the darkest before the dawn it's almost like all the failure before the success you know all the hardship before the ease wouldn't we rather it be that way? Think about it. Wouldn't you rather it be harder first, then easier later? Because imagine if it was easier first and then harder later. Wouldn't that be harder to deal with? Imagine if you had all the success first in life, then you had all the failure. Which would you rather choose? Now I know which one I would want. I would rather take the, the pain first and then the pleasure later. Because otherwise, if I'm taking that pleasure first and, and the success first, and then I'm getting that pain and that failure, it's gonna hurt twice as bad because I've already had the sense of success. I've already had a taste of it. It's been taken away. Understand that. And one thing that we're working on here on, over here on the, on the uh, Viper group and on the mentorship, it's part of the advanced learning, is helping our traders to rewire, rewire, oh, I stumbled on my words there, rewire our mindsets because it is very natural. Don't get me wrong, it's very natural for us to automatically start thinking about the end result. Start to think about the millions, the Lamborghinis, the penthouses, the, 
you name it, the Rolexes, whatever it may be, whatever it is that floats your boat, which gets you going and, and is on your vision board or in your mind when you think of success, it doesn't matter what it is, but it's natural for our minds to go there straight away and first. And what we're trying to do is rewire the brain of our traders to think first of what is going to get them there, such as the discipline, such as the right mindset, such as trusting the process, such as having the self-belief, right? Sticking to the plan. We're rewiring the brains of our traders in order to that they focus on that so that they get to the end result. Because what normally happens by focusing on the end result is we get off balance, we get overconfident, over cocky, we get off plan, we over risk, we don't you know, stick to risk management and we go back to square one until we decide to make the change. Have a think about that. Think about your journey so far. Have you made that change? Have you made that decision? Have you gone through the dark times? Are you in the darkness right now? Do you need the light? You know what you can do. You can always reach out to myself, Callum, anyone on our Viper team. That is what we're here for. We are here to create change. And as I said about legacy, so never hesitate and use the comments. Let us know how you feel about this topic. This is, as I said, this is one of my personal favorite lessons. And one thing I want to touch on as well before we sort of finish up is think about, you know, this is trading as a whole. People treat it as a get-rich-quick scheme. They treat it as, you know, I should, you know, I've done the work for six months or one month or three months or a year maybe, and I haven't got the success yet. Why? Why haven't I got it yet? You know, I should have it right now. Or they expect to have it when they're trading. However, the truth is, that is not how it works. Especially for something like trading when you're trying to get freedom. No job, uh, no boss, no restricted hours, no cap on potential returns. How do you expect something like that, something as good as trading to give you all those positives, not to come with its negatives, not to come with its balance, which is essentially that you need to put in time and effort and work and have that struggle with being disciplined as well. And it doesn't have to be an immense struggle. As I said, we're creating ease for our traders. We're really rewiring their mindsets. And you can have that too. And it doesn't mean it necessarily has to be for us, but you can do it yourself if you put focus into it. However, can be difficult with them. And that, and that whole man on an island thing doesn't have to be the case. As I said, it's used as a scapegoat most likely, but it is you who has to make that decision at the end of the day. Now, one thing to remember is that someone like, let me take an example from pro athletes. What do they have in common to what we can learn from in their journeys? If not all, 90%, 95% of pro athletes, when they're going through their journey, they will spend years of little to no pay, but maximum work. Think about Lewis Hamilton, Floyd Mayweather, Conor McGregor, uh, Usain Bolt, for example, probably uh, Ronaldo, you know? All of these people, you know, you know pro, pro athletes in their sports and chosen field would have spent years, some of them from when they were, if not all of those uh, guys from their childhood, would have been putting in so much training, so much work with no money behind them and no income coming in, maybe even like spending money on training, on getting, you know, travel to get to tournaments and events. But with the vision and understanding that that hard work is going to get them to the point where they can have the freedom, where they can make their money, such as their millions, even to a certain, even your WWE superstars as pro athletes, for example, the great example, because they definitely, we already know, would have started at the absolute bottom. Probably, again, making no money whatsoever, but putting, you know, putting on all the effort, putting on all the shows just as if they were in the WWE, before even getting to the WWE, for example. But they always had it in mind, trusting the process, right? Usain Bolt, a fantastic example. He probably trains four years between the Olympics, four whole years, just to run for 10 seconds or, or less to get that world record and to make whatever money and, and fame that comes with that. But he had to trust the process for those whole four years, just for 10 seconds of his life. Just like Floyd Mayweather, who's probably been boxing since he was probably five or six years old, or probably since he could put some gloves on. Yeah, and he's probably, I don't know how old he is right now, maybe in his forties, um, but spending all those years to be able to get to the point where he can make 10, 100 million, 300 million, whatever figures he's been making, in the space of 30 minutes of a fight, right? But when he started, I guarantee you, he was probably making a few hundred, maybe a few thousand. 
and probably were spending more on travel and, and uh, conditioning and coaches and, and nutritionists, etc., than probably what his income was. But that's again, trusting the process. And we can relate that all to trading. We spend so much money on educators and unfortunately, as I've said many times, this space has so many bad educators that we end up giving money for nothing almost. But again, trusting the process. We have to go through that process to learn the lessons. We have to lose in order to win. We have to have that balance in the market. We have to go through the darkest of times before we see the light. Now, I hope this was a ho uh, hopefully this was a very powerful lesson for you, as it was for me in my journey, as it is for many of my mentees who I share this sort of lesson and sentiment with. And again, I, uh, if you're one of our mentees and our students, I apologize if you feel any kind of way about us sharing this on a public platform. But we just feel, you know, and, and to be fair, our uh, our community is just like us, like-minded individuals. But we just care about the growth of each other. We all are like-minded. We all have that vision of freedom, of legacy. And hopefully this is going to be a powerful part of our legacy, helping as many of you as possible out there to really think about their trading, really begin to enhance their trading through not only all the lessons we've gone over so far, but more importantly, this lesson. This is a very much deciding lesson because really the truth is you either choose to be disciplined and therefore choose to be profitable, or you choose to not be disciplined and you choose not to be profitable. Now, I know none of you want to choose not to be profitable, but essentially that's what you're doing by choosing not to be disciplined. So now you have a choice. Now you have no excuse. I've given you the answers. I've given you what you need to think about in order to make change. And as I said, feel free to let us know if you need help with that. If you want to help you know, get re rewiring your mindset in order to think about the process of getting to the success. If so, reach out to us, drop a comment below, you know, inquire on our website. Drop us a message on uh, Instagram, for example. But thank you once again for tuning in. I hope this was valuable for, you, valuable for you. Please subscribe, obviously, to our YouTube channel as we release more valuable content. Please let us know in the comments below any of the uh, topics that you wish we would cover or go even more in depth into. And yeah, we, we really appreciate all your support so far. Keep an eye out for the next lesson uh, because we are going to be keep. We're going to keep. You're not going to get rid of us. We're not going to go anywhere. We're going to keep on going and we're so excited for the future and so excited for the growth of not only our traders or ourselves, but for every single individual watching here. So even you watching there at home on your phone, wherever you are in the world, thank you. Keep striving towards the greatness. And this is Riz signing out once again.